Oh, Joe, geometry is one of my favorites too. Um, I took pre-calculus in high school and then uh, uh, calculus in uh, college when I started my electrical engineering uh, degree and uh, quickly decided that I couldn't sit there for that long. Calculus was the only class that I had a passing grade in, so I decided it was time to move on. Um, anyway, to draw an arc uh, that bows outward, convex, um, to the uh, arcs that is tangent to them, to these circles, um, it's very much like the other one, only before we could use an offset, uh, because the radius, our, our our desired circle of, of the arc set completely outside of our drawing, but now um, it's kind of got to go on the inside. So you have to know three things still. You have to know the radius of each circle uh, and the desired arc uh, that you want to connect it with. So um, in this example, I picked a 12-inch circle and a 6-inch circle. Uh, so obviously the radius are half, and so I noted those, and then here's our a 36 inch circle which is an 18 inch arc that we want to put like that. Um, so to do that we've got to find that point down there where our crosshairs are uh, and that is going to be um, a little bit of math uh, from the other circles. So uh, the first thing that we'll do is draw uh, a circle uh, around the uh, existing 12 inch circle. So. We're going to do a Q circle, and it's going to be in the, from the C center. It's going to have the same center as this 12-inch uh, as this 12 -inch circle. And so we, our math is we take our desired arc, which is 18, minus uh, the radius of that circle, 6. So that's 12. So we need a circle with a radius of 12. Uh, so Design Edge is asking for a diameter, so we'll double that to 24 and hit enter. Uh, the other side we're just going to do the same thing so Q circle C center uh, and then we take 18 minus 3 which is uh, 15 uh, and then double that so we're going to do a 30 inch circle there and hit enter and so that finds us uh, our point uh, out in space where that uh, 36 inch diameter or 18 inch radius circle will tangent uh, those other circles. So now we can do a Q, uh, we can do a 36 inch circle, and we can I intersection snap that uh, to that point that's out in space. So I'm going to delete that off. Now sometimes when you're drawing these uh, resolution wise it may not let us trim. And so it won't. Um, it is so very close if I de-detect intersections um, you know, it finds that there uh, are intersections there. So the easiest way then is to K-break it uh, at the S spot snap, and then you'll have to uh, detect intersections again to find that other one. K-break it at the S spot snap and click by this one. And we can delete that off. Now if you wanted that to come around, we could use the same uh, process that we did before, uh, and we could offset that... Uh, 18 on both of those and then do our 36 inch circle and I intersection and then I can delete those out see if it'll trim this time there we go and so now we would have uh, 36 inch radius tangent connecting both sides so there is uh, there's both of those uh, going different directions so have fun with geometry